This is an exam question on vectors. It says OPQR is a parallelogram with O the origin, M is the midpoint of PQ, OM and RQ are extended to meet at S, vector OP is equal to P and vector OR is equal to R. And then it asks you to do some things. But first of all, we're going to look at the terminology there. So first of all, it says OPQR is a parallelogram. So the points O, P, Q and R join together to form a parallelogram with two pairs of parallel sides. Then it says with O the origin. So imagine that there are some X and Y axes there. O would be the point 0, 0, the origin. Then it says M is the midpoint of PQ, so PQ is a line from P to Q, and M is in the middle. Then it says OM and RQ are extended to meet at S. So OM is the line from O to M, and, and Q, and both of those lines are extended until they meet. And S is the point where that happens. Then it says vector OP is P. So vector OP is the movement from point O to point P. So any movement with that distance and direction is referred to by the letter P. And similarly, vector OR is the movement from point O to point R. So any movement with that distance and direction is referred to as R. And finally it says not to scale. Exam questions often do drawings that are distorted in order to prevent you from just measuring the diagram. And the question says Find in terms of P and R, in its simplest form, the vector OM. So the vector OM is the movement that takes us from point O to point M, but we're only allowed to make that movement in terms of R's and P's. So for example, if we started by going from O to R, that would be a vector R. If we then went from R to Q, that would be a vector P, because it's the same as the vector P at the bottom of the parallelogram. Remembering that a parallelogram has equal and parallel pairs of sides. Now in order to get down to M from where we were at Q, we need to do half an R but backwards because the side on the right of the parallelogram is the same and the same direction as the side on the left of the parallelogram but we only want to go half the distance and backwards so we're going backwards half an R which is referred to as minus 0.5 R in vector terms. So the vector from O to M, one way of getting there is R plus P minus half an R, and we can simplify that by gathering up the P's and R's. We've got a whole R here and minus half an R here, so together they make half an R. And the answer is 0.5 R plus P. And we can see, in fact, that if we just went 0.5 R plus P directly, 0.5 R there and then a P across the middle, it would be another way of getting from O to M. And the next part of the question asks us to find the position vector of S. Well first of all we need to know what a position vector is and a position vector is a vector from the origin. So for example if we consider some graph axes 
and the point 83, the vector from the origin to the point 83 would be 8 across and 3 up. So it would be the vector 83. So a position vector is so called because it gives the position of a point from the origin. So back to the question, we need to find the position vector of S. So in other words, that's the vector OS. How do we get from the origin O to the point S? So one way of getting there is to do from O to M, but twice. And we saw already that vector OM was 0.5R plus P. So we have to do 2 of 0.5R plus P. We can multiply those brackets out to get a whole R plus 2P. So the final answer is R plus 2P. The vector that will get us from O to S is R plus 2P. The next part says, when vector PT equals P plus R, what can you write down about the position of T? Well, it says vector PT equals P plus R. So that means that to get from point P to some other point T, you need to do P then R. So from point P, if you do a P, you end up across there, and if you do an R, you end up up there. So in other words, you end up at point S. So the position of point T is in the same position as point S.